a couple of brand new cut to ship, cut to fit RV mattresses that we're going to be putting into our bunk bed. So let's unbox this bad boy and uh, let the boys have at it. Pretty painless process. We just went to katcha.com and you can specify three different types of mattresses, your base quality, your medium quality, and then your high quality. And then you can specify any custom cuts. There are th currently three types of cuts, bevel cut and like the rounded corner cut and you know, a chamfer cut or something. I can't remember what the names of all those cuts are. And we needed a 10 inch cut off of both corners. And that's because up here on this, on this bed, we've got uh, kind of this little bevel here so the bathroom door doesn't interfere, interfere too bad. So, and of course you're not in love with what the, uh, you get from the dealership or from the factory here. You know, you get like these barely one inch or less of, of kind of uh, low grade foam here for these mattresses. So definitely, definitely an upgrade for the boys. Hey, so as we make our journey west here, we are having a little layover here in what's called Independence Rock. Now, nothing special about the rock. I don't know if any independence was won here or anything, but here in the heart of, of Wyoming, there's this kind of natural waypoint that uh, some of the early frontiersmen and pioneers of the west stop and leave their mark on this rock here. So lots of famous signatures on this rock some from you know u.s military men cavalry men that uh, were out here part of the kind of indian wars and pioneers of the early days here over here is the uh the moors july 4th 1850 so cool but one percent left on the on the battery gonna have to shut her down Crazy Horse uh, sculpture here is really just kind of, I mean, it is about the Crazy Horse person who was a real person, um, but it's more so about the Lakota people and their heroes and some of the struggles that they went through. Now it all started with Chief Henry Standing Bear who came across uh, Korzak Kozowski's or whatever his name is. And he wrote him a letter saying, you know, hey, dear sir, you don't really know me, but I know that you did some work here and you're pretty famous for this work and we'd love for you to come and work on this project for us to kind of memorialize um, uh, a Lakota chief or, you know, a, a Native American people because these people had heroes too. And Korzak, you know, took that on and really that became what is the ongoing work of the Crazy Horse sculpture. It's been a work of generations. This is actually the third generation of, of sculptors of this family has been working on this. And you know, the, the front face is finished. The, they're working now on the hand and the horse's face. So, uh, you know, generations to come, this will be a work in progress. Basically, this reiterates the fact that white men suck. How so? White man comes in kills all the Native Americans, and then we build a sculpture representing the four presidents that, you know, just American white men, and, and these Native Americans are sitting here. What about them? Therefore, we have, we have Crazy Horse. And really the vision of this, I guess this place as a whole, isn't just the sculpture. It's actually a, an entire area of universities and probably other living and recreational areas. So the sculpture itself is just the start and, and maybe kind of the visual centerpiece. It's more about the, uh, the training and uh, advancement of uh, these native peoples. 
What have you been calling this trail? Mm, what do you mean trail? Monument. The four heads. What? Like four heads? <laughs> no, because there's four heads, four presidents. So oh. <laughs> every have pretty big four heads. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm meeting four heads. You think you could name the presidents on the Mount Rushmore? Um, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, and one more. I don't know the last one. So if you're like me, you're probably thinking, why South Dakota? The original, I guess, idea man behind the uh, Mount Rushmore sculpture was Doane Robinson, who was a South Dakota historian. Now his original idea was to have the busts of some of the Wild West heroes like Lewis and Clark and Red Cloud and Buffalo Bill Cody. But when the sculptor got here, his name is Gutsen Borglum. He, w he thought that it would be better to have a, a larger appeal and uh, convince Robinson that it should be done of the presidents. Construction for Mount Rushmore was from 1927 to 1941 and it was originally supposed to be everything from the face down to the waist, but uh, lack of funding kind of brought the project to a halt and it was completed in October of 1941. So you come in the evening, not only do you get to enjoy the awesome music, but they also light up the faces in a little bit of a ceremony here where they talk about the building of Mount Rushmore and then they light it up. So enjoy the nice evening and, uh, and the nice music. soda so this is what we found what should we start with butterscotch beer always yeah. a favorite grass soda pumpkin pie soda Yummy. all right bacon soda with maple syrup cookie dough bites soda we'll try not to get diabetes while we while we try these things butterscotch beer uh -oh. it's actually one of my favorites so we're gonna start with it bacon next bacon with maple syrup. I was putting it up. It's not terrible, but that initial taste took me by surprise. Whoa. You barely even got any. It's so disgusting. Cookie dough bites. Yes, cookie dough, please. It's still in my mouth, and I didn't even get that much. It's all right. It's still a little odd, almost coffee. Syrup. We're going for grass. I've tasted, oh, this guy. I've actually ate grass before. <laughs> it tastes <laughs> like grass. It tastes like you just mowed the lawn. <laughs> it tastes like grass. Oh, it tastes like grass. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like grass. When it's in your mouth, it tastes more like green apple, but then after, it's grass. Yeah. Pumpkin pie. Please be good. I like that. It tastes like Christmas. Or Thanksgiving. I like that too. This is the rankings. Left is best, right is worst. All right, here's the final verdict. Don't come to South Dakota to see Mount Rushmore. Come to see the Black Hills. Mount Rushmore is just the cherry on top. 
Also, public service announcement. I am at 99 subscribers. I only wanted 100, so if just one more of you, just one. 69% of you who watch this video will not be a subscriber, so I know one of you has it in your hearts to click subscribe. One more.